Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Inverse here, another episode of Test Pack Please Ignore 2. So at the end of my last episode, I had been hunting around the nether, hoping to get enough materials to make myself a decent cobalt hammer. Which I did, which is quite nice. Uh, but for this episode, what I would like to do is do some work on some Ender IO stuff. So at the moment, I have been using my sterling generators here. Got an alloy smelter using because I can basically use it to process three ores at once. I'll probably change that up to a uh, mechanism factory eventually. So no, I could even do that in this episode. I could even make a energized smelter, upgrade it to a factory, and replace that and actually use that one instead. But uh, I could do that quick actually, I could do a couple of things. So, um, how much steel have I got at the moment? That is the question. Not a lot, I haven't got a lot of iron either. So let me get started on processing up some iron and get, so we can get started on some things. Uh, so let me grab half a stack of iron. I should have plenty of it. Yeah, I've got over a stack still, so that's quite nice. Uh, so let me get this started. Uh, I do need to make some, what's it called? Um, upgrades for this as well. Maybe just one or two for now. Uh, I'll get I'll get on that at some point, but uh, so that's going to start processing up some iron for me, which is nice. They don't really need that much. I'll take half of it out. Uh, I'll probably process a load of ores off up off camera uh, over the weekend as I'm recording this on Friday morning. Yeah, Friday morning. So uh, this will be a Saturday episode, and I'll do some work for the Monday episode over the weekend, which would be quite nice. Uh, but that's making me some iron, which is good. Uh, how much gold have I got at the moment? Not a lot, because I'm going to need gold for what I want, which is um, making uh, some energetic alloys. So I'm going to. What I'm thinking of doing today is upgrading my sterling generators all with energetic alloys if I can. That's one plan. And also things such as my alloy smelter and other stuff. As you see, this is going quite well at the moment in terms of this is really starting to fill up with charcoal in most of these now, which is pretty good as it filling backwards. So the first kind of like few rows are all filled up and we'll get the rest of them filled up in due course. Right, so that's making some iron. Can I actually make some upgrades for these? Let me just have a quick look. So, upgrade. <coughs> Sorry about that. Do a quick cough. Um, so, where were we? So, I'm looking for the, not that's industrial craft ones. I'm looking for the mechanism ones. So, do -do 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 -do. if I can see them, there they are. They're the mechanism ones. So, I need item speed upgrades. We need some energetic alloys, glass, and osmium dust. Yep, that's what we need for that. And then for the energy upgrade, it's gold and glass and enriched alloys. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. So we have some osmium, but we can just use a crusher, I think. No. But we have to use the enrichment chamber? I'm not sure. Uh, I might have to process up a few more ores while we're at it as well. Uh, so how is this iron doing? That is almost done. So I'm going to need to get some gold and some osmium while we're waiting. So let me do that. So let me get some gold. And some osmium. There we go. Fantastic. How much gold did I get? Six? That's not really going to be enough. I want a bit more than that. I want like 16 altogether, if that's, if that's entirely possible. Make like half a stack of gold, something like that. Uh, do the same with osmium. Put seven back. There we go. So I have 32 of each of them. Marvellous. Um, so yeah, today's going to be about doing some up showing how you can upgrade some of these machines. Uh, I don't think I ever showed the upgrade for uh, the tree farm, but I've shown things like that in the past, so that's fair enough. Um, what I'm looking for. So that is currently processing that. So let's get the gold started, and then we'll get the osmium. I may get a hopper, actually, just so I can put things in there. Let me make a hopper. Let's have a quick look. So a hopper is uh, iron and a chest. So how much iron do we need? One, two, three, four, five. So we need five iron. And we'll get a chest. So we can put a hopper on top of that enrichment chamber and just fire and forget with these ores, which would be quite nice. So let me get a chest from somewhere. Do I have a spare chest? No, I do not. So we're going to need eight wood instead. So there we go. Marvellous. Fantastic. Um, so we need to make a chest. There we go. One chest. One hopper. Marvellous. So we can put this on top of that uh, enrichment chamber like so and then what we can then do is make sure that the input is coming from the top which I believe it is it is so we can then put the osmium in there it should just drop immediately down into the enrichment chamber and then that should just smelt everything up um, let's go back to those upgrades so upgrade so what I'm gonna need is 
some glass as well. Do I have enough glass? Burping as well. Jesus Christ, what is going on with me today? I'm gonna have to try and find these uh these these foul uh, body movements and take them out of the uh take them out of the actual kind of soundtrack. Um but I apologize in advance. Uh do I have any glass? I can't see any. Which probably means I don't have any. So let's go and get ourselves some sand. So oops, come on, let me out. So where is a load of sand? So I think there's a load over there. So have a quick fly over there. Oh, my shovel's broken. Ah, that's not good. Um, let's repair the shovel first. This should be a good idea. Oh yeah, somebody also suggested making a glider to go with this as well. So I may do that quick actually. Um, let's repair my shovel first. What I really should do is put a diamond on it. How many diamonds have I got? Let me just, let me just double check that. So. I have four, so not really enough. So maybe not put a diamond on it right now until I can find some more from strip mining. Um, what's I going to do? Oh yeah, let's make a glider. Let's have a quick look. How do I make that? So a glider. So I need two glider wings and a stick. Uh, or you can make one apparently from Ender IO as well. So you can you need dark steel and a glider wing, which is lots of leather. Do I have lots of leather? Uh, it's basically exactly the same. One's from Open Blocks and one is from uh, Ender IO. Upgrade for dark steel chest plate. All right, fair enough. So you could put glider wings on a dark steel chest plate. That's fairly cool. Um, wow. So apparently you can put. Well, I'll keep it on there. So you can put a vibrant crystal, a glider, an apiary shirt, and a gravity resist. That's fairly cool. But we'll, we'll be making the uh, open blocks one. So we need leather. Do I have lots of leather? That is the question. I've got three. So no, no, not really. Um, is there an alternative way of making leather? Uh, not short of murdering loads of cows. So maybe I won't be making a uh, hang glider this episode. I may have to go and find some cows. I know there's quite a few over there. Just have to fly over there, really, and grab them. But uh, but where were we? So I was looking to make myself some upgrades. That's the one. Upgrade. Oh, yeah, I needed sand, didn't I? Ugh, my brain is just totally gone this morning. So oops, let's fly out of here. I do quite like the hover mode on this jetpack. It is uh, fairly useful. You pretty much stay where you are, which is uh, pretty sweet. You do use up a fair amount of fuel flying around, but uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I'd rather it kept me on like a really good level than just like use up no fuel at all kind of thing. So let me just kind of drop down here, start digging up sand from my beach here. I will eventually get around to just kind of like crushing up cobblestone and get it all done automatically but for now I'd, I'd rather just dig up like a load of sand here we go marvelous so how much do we how much do we really want let's just fly out of here it's really weird you have to kind of like flick through all of the modes every time that you want to kind of come out but yeah what can you do it's the price you pay I mean, I'd like it on hover mode all the time, if it basically meant I could land, but for some reason you, you don't. So, if, say for example, I put it on hover mode, and you're constantly hovering, even when you're like on the ground, so you have to, you really do have to turn it off, which is quite bizarre. So, to get a load of sand like that, and then we can, just, let's just zip back home. There we go. Nice and quick. We'll take advantage of the, uh, what's it called? Um, teleportation system, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so we need to smelt this up now. How are we doing in here? The energized smelter is still doing the glass, so we could really do with another one. Um, I don't know, like a spare one, but let's just drop some sand into there. We need a little bit to get going with. Uh, and then what we need is some energy upgrades for both of the mechanism machines. So we need, say for example, um, let's go upgrade. So I'm probably going to need like say two for two, so we need say, I need four altogether, so I'm going to need four gold dust, so one, two, three, four, crush you up, uh, and then we need four osmium as well I think, let me find the item upgrade, uh, not the speed upgrade, wherever it's gone, uh, it's disappeared, where the hell did it go, there it is, uh, item speed upgrade, yeah, which is osmium and the enriched alloy, so one, two, three, four. Just gonna make lots and lots of noise for me. Uh, I could probably do upgrading all of these eventually, but uh, I'll get around to that. It'll be fine. 
So I would, I would like to use more upgrades in future, but I'm just going to kind of start off fairly basic and then I'm going to upgrade them as well once we've... Uh... So what I also need to do is make myself an energized smelter. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to need for that, I'm going to need some basic control circuits. I will need some osmium at some point, uh, which is going to be smelting up fairly soon. Uh, what I might do is just start upgrading these to factories automatically, so get the kind of the basic factories as well. Um, so let me start crushing up you as well. So I'm going to need some glass, um, going to need some redstone, going to need quite a lot of redstone uh, as we're going to be processing up a lot of iron and osmium into like their enriched forms. Uh, what else do we need? Yeah, we need that glass. Where have you gone? There we go. Marvellous. Could do more, but that'll be fine. So what else are we looking for? So that is almost done smelting and then we'll be smelting up the osmium next, which would be nice. There we go, we're almost done uh, crushing up things, which is good. And then we need to start processing things. So Metallurgic Infuser will fill you up with redstone, whole stack, just so it's got plenty. Um, and then what we need first of all, if we go back to upgrade, uh, we need, um, so enriched alloys. So how much, how much do I need of this? I need eight of you, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So that should start working. That's going to enrich that. So all of the every almost every single one of these mechanism machines can be upgraded in this way. So as soon as we start doing some upgrades uh, and getting kind of like multiple machines and start, start getting factories and stuff set up, this whole setup will go a lot quicker. Uh, I will get a dedicated kind of branch or something for all processing at some point. I need to do some work on branching this out. So what I was thinking of doing is maybe trying to plant some of these redwood trees in this kind of weird gully that I've got here and kind of like branching out that way. And then also branching out this way as well. So I don't know if this was the best place to start in the end, but uh, eh, I'm sure we'll get away with it. Uh, I'm sure it will all be fine. So where was I? So all oh, that's done. Uh, got some rich alloys. This is what's going to allow me to make the speed and the um, bleh, brains. Brains going now. Speed and energy upgrade. That's what I'm looking for. I might wait until I actually upgraded these to factories to be fair, so let's have a look at, I need to make myself another, do I need another energized smelter? Not really I suppose, but let's have a look at factory. So we're going to look at making ourselves a basic factory, this allows us to have three things processed at once, so we're going to need redstone, circuits and iron, and then obviously the original the original uh, thing as well. So if we look at the next step up, so basic factory to advanced factory, then take previous factory and upgrade it with enriched alloys, um, advanced control circuits. Let me try and find out what constitutes them. So, oh right, so that is basic control circuits flanked by enriched alloys. I see they've basically made this like two tiers now to make this. Originally you needed something like this to make one of them, but they've kind of like uh, tiered it up now. So even then, the advanced factory isn't too expensive, and then the elite factory is extremely expensive. Yeah, okay, so the advanced factories I get away with. Like, you don't really need anything more than an advanced factory, so the elite factories, which you can process seven items seven items at once, um, requires a hell of a lot of resources. We need advanced control circuits, reinforced um, alloys, which require diamond in one of these metallurgical confusers, so pretty crazy. I'm just going to take this out for now, because what I'm going to do... Where's my wrench gone? Apparently I've lost my wrench. Interesting. Um, so let me find my wrench. There we go. Apparently I've like been dropping it all over the place. Uh, we're going to get started on upgrading these two factories, I think. So uh, let me look at this. So I'm going to need some redstone, some of these electronic circuits. So we need to get started on some electronic circuits as well. So let's get, say, 10 of you in there. Let's wrench you up like so. Um, do I have a crafting bench around here? I do not, do I? I think I got rid of it for some crazy reason. So let me find you. Uh, I've got two crafting tables, so yeah, we've, we've, we've got plenty. Put it that way. So let me pick you up, drop you down, say, here, for example. Uh, what we're going to do is, so I'm going to need some redstone. Would be a good idea. I've got loads of redstone. It's really common at like kind of uh, level 12. I've just found it everywhere while strip mining. No diamonds, just lots of redstone instead. Um, let's also wrench you up as well so we can upgrade both of you. Um, so let's say about making a 
basic faction. Oh no, sorry, I need the circuits as well, don't I? That's making enriched alloys, so is that what I want? Do I need enriched alloys? I do not, do I? Crap. Um, I need some for the upgrades, but I don't actually need it for um, the factories. How many am I going to need? I'm going to need one, two, three, four. There we go. Oops, so lazy. So I'm going to need to turn the osmium into... Uh, if I want to make the... Uh, Base, sorry, the advanced factories, that's where I need the enriched alloys and some advanced control circuits, but I don't actually need them right now. Whoops a daisy. It's not the end of the world. I'll get away with it. So Oh yeah, I was gonna make um, a factory for there as well, wasn't I? Yeah, I remember I remember what I was doing now. I'll get around to that eventually. It's all good, it's all good. How are we doing for this? It's uh, filling up quite nicely. The factory will work out even better because it, it actually simultaneously processes three at once, whereas this kind of smelts up three at once, but it does it takes three times as long, whereas one of these mechanism factories processes three items at once, but it does it at the same time, so you get so you get you get things processed a lot faster, if that makes sense. Um, let's get these control circuits so we can start upgrading these two factories. Um, so we need... Doo -doo -doo. Did did it did it did it? What was it? Iron as well. Yeah, iron and energized smelter. One basic factory. So that's a smelter factory. And we need to do the same thing here. So do 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 do. One another factory. So this one's enriching. That one's smelting. So when enriching there, smelting there. As you can see, they're a nice new color. So make sure that's wrenched downwards. Has it got the same configuration? Uh, it does not, but that's not the end of the world. So we still want red in and we want blue out to the right. Uh, I think that's all we need for that one. And then this one, we want uh, blue in from the left and it doesn't really matter what everything else is. And then we need to have that to auto eject on. Fantastic, so uh, that will be nice and quick. So let me show you how this works And then what we also need to do is auto sort which basically whenever you anything gets put in there It just automatically sorts it out or uh, evenly over all three of these so you get a nice even split Especially if you're if you're trying to process up say for example lots of osmium It'll do it nice and evenly for you, which is excellent um, So that's pretty cool What else do we want? We want that glass where I've been smelting that up So we want some upgrades now for these factories, which will be nice so let's make some upgrades. So we need a uh, upgrade. So let me get, for example, we need a couple of item speed upgrades and then we want a couple of energy upgrades. There we go. Fantastic. Apparently I've still got too much of this because I want to make some more, I think. Does that mean I'm out of something? Uh, I can't remember. But what we're going to do is put an item speed upgrade. Yep, that's gone in. So let's upgrade the speed of that. And an oopsie daisy, apparently we're throwing things away. And an energy upgrade, like so. Keep throwing things away. Do the same here, so that one goes in there. That one goes in there, so that gets upgraded. So this will start to process faster, and it will also store more energy as well. So it won't run out of energy as easily, which is good. So, oh yeah, we also want to have that as dark. Oh, sorry. What do I want? So I want, sorry, that needs to be red goes right that needs to be blue and I need auto eject on so it starts chucking things into the chest right much better we're getting somewhere right so what we want to do now is make another energized smelter okay so that is a steel casing so we need to make some steel first so let's grab iron and some do I have any charcoal left in there I might have some carbons left in there so let's make four steel like so. Yep, there's still some carbon left in both of these, so uh, I need to upgrade these with energy upgrades as well at some point. I'll get around to it. I don't want to put too many in these because I want to upgrade them to advanced factories as well later on. So, just wanted to upgrade it a little bit, just show you how they work. They're quite simple. I think they get consumed, so you've just got to be careful about that. There we go. So we're starting to make some steel, which is excellente. Um, yeah, we needed four of that. We needed an osmium. Uh, what else do we need? We need four redstone and we need some glass, which I think we've got everything on us. So, oh yeah, we need two um, two circuits as well. So let's do that. I'm also going to need two more circuits for upgrading it to a factory. So let's also do that as well while we're at it. So we've almost got the steel dust, which is good. So I can literally just drop that in there. I'll spread out, process all three at once, which is a super duper. That's kind of working. 
because I'm going to want to liberate that and use that to actually just do some uh, bog standard um, Ender IO stuff with it in a second. Oh yeah, so it would have gone in the chest, won't it? There we go. So what we can now do is energized smelter, one steel casing, one energized smelter once we've got the circuits. There we go. One energized smelter. And finally, we can then upgrade that to a factory. So that'll be two iron for redstone. Basic factory. Fantastic. Right, so what we need to do now is wrench you up. Oops, that has apparently not put... Um, so let me drop you down there. So with this particular one, um, I need to have the input coming from the right. Uh, the output will be going out of the top. There we go, dark blue out of the top. That is still configured to wood, and then what we need to do is let me grab this out of here. There we go, so that will be, so we need to auto sort, uh, auto eject on. Let's grab that charcoal and put it in one of these, for example. Why is that not burning? That's really weird. It's, uh, oh, is it using a power somewhere else? That would probably be why. Um, I was like, why the hell has that not like got, not, got no power here? Because it's still burning, but obviously it's been used up somewhere. I'm assuming like filling up all of these new machines probably so let me grab that charcoal out of there make sure it goes into like there for example so these are starting to use up a fair amount of energy especially this thing which is uh, apparently using up a whole crap ton of energy interesting okay so yeah I really do need to upgrade my um, what's what I'm looking for um, upgrade these with their basic capacitors so that is using up a whole hell of a lot of energy. I did not realize it used up that much. Wow, that, that is using up way more than my old um, alloy, alloy smelter. That auto eject is on. Dark blue at the top. Weird. Um, yeah, that's weird. That should be auto ejecting, but it's not. Why are you not doing that? Bizarre. It's not actually ejecting out of the top. Um, that's very weird. It doesn't seem to be working with the item ducts, which is bizarre. Uh, maybe I need a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A servo. That's what I'm looking for. One of the new thermal thermal dynamic servos, which I will hopefully be doing a little bit more on in a mod spotlight that I've got planned coming up for thermal dynamics, which I thought would be quite a cool thing to do. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it before. I'm looking to start doing some mod spotlights. Let me just put that on disabled. I'm gonna start pulling things out. Why are you not auto ejecting? That's really weird. It's not pulling it out into the item ducts, which is annoying. Oh no, it is. I think. Yep, it's starting to pull things out. Cool, so that's actually working now. Um, so yeah, let's get start. Let's get this alloy, alloy smelter set up first. So we're going to need some way to power it. So let me go and find myself a um, what I'm looking for hardened flux duct. So yeah, there is uh, quite a few tiers of flux duct above this nowadays. But uh, let me just going to punch a hole here. Nope, I cannot actually access my flux duct there, so uh, I'm going to need to... Let me just put it down for here for now. So it's still got power, which is good. Um, I have dropped that wood, though, so I'm going to have to patch it up later on, or it's going to really annoy me. Um, what else do I need to do? Right, so yes, so we are going to make ourselves... So we're going to be making capacitors. So we're going to try and make these all of these furnaces more efficient, basically. So the, re the way we're going to be doing that is with... Uh, these things, so double air capacitors. And the way we make them is we need a load of basic capacitors. So we're going to need a load of copper, some gold, some redstone, and then we're going to need to make, going to pulverize up some coal. And then we're also going to make this energetic alloy, which is making the alloy smelter with redstone, gold, and glowstone. So I need two of these per double air capacitor, and I need one, two, three, four, five, ten. So I need 20, um, 20 energetic alloy. So let's make that. We'll get that started. Chow down on some cook, cooked pork. Very nice. So, that's what we need for you. Oops, a lazy. So, let's half you. So, we've got 20 there, 20 there. We need 20 gold. We might need some more copper as well. Uh, what am I looking for? So, oh yeah, gold is in this chest, is it not? Um, and then we need one, two, three. Marvellous. 
we put all of you in there that's going to start smelting up into uh the what's it what's the one looking for energetic alloy that's what i'm looking for so we also need to make the basic pastas so for that we're going to need some gold nuggets and some copper so how much have i got copper i do have mechanism copper which is good but we need a lot more than that so let me go and start so let me grab say for example half and half again put you away there we go so we start processing processing up some copper drop you in here so yeah i didn't realize how much like energy oh you need to pour to sort on there don't i so you didn't realize how much energy this these actually use up um which is crazy i uh, i apologize for that these apparently are very energy intensive uh, compared to just kind of like basic basic factories and stuff it seems to be working all right it's just it's basically draining all of my uh current stone generators dry so i really do need to make these capacitors to actually uh, make this vo make this whole setup viable, I suppose. It's one way of putting it. So I'm going to need what I need. Um, if I want to make twenty, so I need ten of ten of these. So I need twenty basic capacitors. So I need twenty copper. So yeah, I've got I've got twenty copper now. Excellent. So what else do we need? So we also need some gold nuggets. So let's grab a couple few of them, uh, and then we also need. Oops, so that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, and we also need some redstone, which we've already got. And then finally, we need some pulverized coal. So let's uh, let's grab some coal. There we go. I think we need at least twenty of you. Not entirely sure, but uh, let's start running you through the crusher, the crushinator. Um, oh, sorry, I need ten of that actually. So let me just take ten out for now. Uh, double layer. So yeah, I think this is everything that we need. So let's get started on the single layer capacitors so we're going to need some gold ingots and then we're going to need to do one two three four five six what, what am i out of i am out of gold already okay so apparently i need like way more oh yeah i need like 40 of these don't i so get six see if that's enough need lots of gold nuggets apparently um one, two, three, four. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to need more. So I still need more. Oh no! Apparently, I've run out of redstone now, which is fair enough. I was like, God damn, I've run out of gold and got uh, gold nuggets again. But no, this time it is redstone. So using up my redstone supplies. So where, where were we? So we're still making these single basic capacitors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvelous. There we go. So there's the single layer capacitors made. We need the coal dust which is industrial craft stuff apparently in this particular mod pack um, coming out of there so the energetic alloy is on its way so we can start to make a few I suppose so let me make at least a few to get going with just so a few of these are actually kind of working at a slightly higher uh, fidelity so we've got three so I'll show you how these work so you basically put them in put them in there and then basically the burn rate so coal lasts longer and it also generates twice the amount of RF per tick as well which is awesome so we can do that in there as well. So we're basically making these sterling generators more efficient and producing twice as much redstone flux per tick, which is pretty awesome. So we get more bang for our buck from the charcoal, and we also um, and we also but and we also chuck more out, uh, chuck more energy out at the same time. So this is just like everything is just totally lacking in energy at the moment. So I really do need these uh, these double layer capacitors on every single one of these. So. Make another one. Now, what I'm also thinking I'm going to do is pinch some charcoal from say from here, and then start to fill up some of these which don't actually have any charcoal in at all, just so that they're actually all working. Say for example, that one still doesn't have anything in it, so we'll pinch half of you, drop you in there. So every single one of these is now burning, which is good. Okay, so apparently that needs double air. So hopefully once I've upgraded all of these with double air, we should start to look a little bit more comfortable. How are we doing for energetic alloy? It's going slowly, but we're getting there. And what I can also do is put a double air capacitor in this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Alloy smelter and make that go faster as well. So let me do that first. I can always take it out again afterwards. It's not like the mechanism ones where it's a permanent upgrade. I can put it in and take it out at will. So this will actually start to go a lot faster, as you can see, which is good which is what we want so we can actually upgrade the rest of these in due course 
These are all using up a hell of a lot of energy. These being used? No, they're still being used here, so yeah, we really do need to uh, get the rest of these upgraded. Like so. So yeah, this is all kind of going a lot slower now because of uh, because of the fact that I've decided to start using factories and don't really have a sufficient power source to do so, apparently. Uh, looks like I'll be making uh, big reactors soon as, sooner than I was expecting. It's not the end of the world. Or I just need more of these. Probably just need to add on a couple more and make sure they're all upgraded with uh, these double these double air capacitors, which aren't exactly expensive either. So let's make a couple more. Get all of these working. What have I run out of? Oh, pulver pulverized coal? Yeah, pulverized coal. There we go. Two more. So let's get you. So all of them are upgraded. Let's get you upgraded. So then we just got to do the ones on the other side in a second. There we go. Uh, what are we looking for? Keeps like shifting about for some bizarre reason. It's like flicking all over the place. Like, why? Uh, you and you. So yeah, I'm not used to. I've, I've, I've totally forgotten how much energy these factories take up. Uh, I hadn't realised how intensive it was, so I'm going to need to make a load more of these generators. Oh wow, things are just going absolutely mental there now. Um, it's overloaded. Quick, get me a um, get me a barrel, an overload barrel. Um, there we go. We're apparently producing too much wood now, um, which is interesting. So let me cover that up with a um, oops, a daisy. So that should be my that will be my overload barrel now once this is all filled up. So how are we doing now? Are we actually catching up now? Not really. Um even with them all kind of upgraded fully. That one still needs a capacitor. So I'm gonna need to make a load more of these sterling generators, I think. Um because these I I I I think in my old test pack, please ignore, I didn't really start using factories until later on. And I didn't realise how like power hungry they are, I suppose. Uh, so this really, so I think this one will probably require like an energy upgrade. So um, at the very least, just to keep, just to kind of maintain it. And then I need to basically make a load more of the sterling generators. So maybe make like another kind of a row of them or something like that would possibly be a good idea. Um, and then kind of also what I really want to do is kind of make a separate area for these. So have like a power kind of uh, power room or like treehouse area or something like that. I don't know, but. Uh, at least we've been fairly productive today, so I've got most, I think I've got what I really want to get done today, which was to get some factory set up. Oh, okay, so they're actually starting to charge up now, so are these actually going to start to fill up? No, they're not. So I'm going to need to do some work off camera to kind of rectify the situation by making a load more of these generators. Uh, at least this is now a bit more energy efficient. None of these are really particularly full, <laughs> which is not good. Um, Right, so I'm going to leave the episode here. As always, guys, don't forget to comment and like if you've enjoyed the episode. Apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.